Good. Let's continue. Our next speaker is Dionisio Botella, and he will talk also about Skirment. Uh, I would like to thank the organizers, uh, Mauro and Wilson, for the kind invitation to participate in this very nice meeting. Okay. Uh, I will keep going talking on about the skirmion, but I will talk about the skirmion like. Say, uh, the intention here is to try to f model the skirmion structure without doing, say, computer, computer calculations, say, doing analytical calculations. And uh, I will focus mainly on the topological behavior of the skirmion like solution. I, ho I hope I can explain this to you. Uh, I will first talk a little bit about the motivation, then the procedure that you use, and uh, later on some illustrations. Okay. The motivation I selected here, say, three different <laughs> papers on Schemium. And this one, they are, say, concerned about uh, the splitting of Schemium change skirmions into half skirmions, for instance. Okay? In this one, they are, say, concerned about the annihilation of skirmion with different topological charge, just to measure, trying to measure, say, the strength of the topological charge of the skirmion. In thi this one, they are, say, using this hash bar, spin orbital coupling to look inside the internal structure of the scheme. And this is my fox here. Okay? I you look inside the topological structure of the scheme. Okay. In this slide, the, the third paper, they do the following here. They, this is a, I, I'd say that this is a standard skirmion for them. This, the blue line here is the magnetization, okay? And it goes from minus one to plus one here, okay? And it is the red line is the topological charge density of the skirmion, okay? I'll explain this later on, okay? But it is the topological charge density goes in this way. And this is, uh, say, a very nice way to print this going from minus one to plus one from inside to outside with this set of colors, okay? And here, using the, say, the hash bar spin orbital coupling, they change, slightly change the magnetization, the behavior of the magnetization inside the skin structure. And it does have, a, say, huge modification in the topological charge density, okay? And they are showing this, highlighting this structure here. Okay? We will try to model this using, say, um, simple, very simple scalar field model. Okay? From relativistic scalar, relativistic real scalar field model. But we will work in D space dimension. Okay? This is the kinetic energy density, this is the gradient energy density, and this is the potential. If, it, if it, the model is this one, from the Derrick theorem, we, we can only have topological structure if you are in one spatial dimension, for the d is, is equal to one. Okay? What the scheme in 1962 he changed the, the kinematics of the solution, say. So they found the skirmions, okay? We are not do doing this here. We are going to change the potential. Say we are going to add explicit space dependence in the, the potential. Okay? Using, using spherical symmetry, okay? We in search for a static solution in this model here, with this kind of potential here, where uh, you have a explicit, say, spatial dependence in the potential. And this W here is, with the, is a function of the field, 
from which I define, say, the, the part of the potential. And phi is phi of r here. And then I get the equation of motion, which is this, with a second order differential equation, okay? which is r to the n. n, for instance, for now, is uh, an arbitrary parameter here. Okay? When I do this, I lose, I break, say, translational invariance in space. But I still keep uh, energy conserved, so I, I still have some physics inside this model. Okay. Now, if I if I use the I, if I take a n is equal to two d minus two, okay, okay, I can we can write the the equation of motion in terms of first order differential equation, okay. So in the, the, those equations solve the equation of motion. So I can look for first order differential equations, and I'm still doing good physics. Okay, this is a say a, a kind of a generalization of the Bagalmoni procedure for scalar fields to on an arbitrary the the spatial dimension. Okay, and this is important to find analytical solution because now I have to solve say. Uh, first, your differential equation. Okay. If I go to the planar case, because I want to map or to model the ischemium properties, if I go to two dimension, okay, using using this, oh, sorry, using this for d is equal to two, I get the potential in this form, okay. And this makes the system to engender a scale invariance. So I now have a scale invariance. So I cannot talk about the size of the scheme, and, but I can still talk about, say, topology, because topology is a global property of the system. Okay. So this is the reason why we focus mainly on the topological behavior of the solution. Okay, now if I, I move a, a little bit to the planar ischemia like structure. The, the ischemia, they are characterized by a magnetization, which is, uh, say, a constant vector. Okay, a constant uh, modulus. Okay, the modulus is constant. And then I normalize it in this way, and I define the ischemia or the Pontiagin number here. I define it this way, and I use it to say this part is what, we, what people call the topological charge or the number density of the scheme. There are something more here to coming from here, but this is the, say, the topological charge density or the scheme number density, which I will go to focus on it. Okay. And the scheme can be helicoidal structure, like this one, for instance, where you have, say, the magnetization here pointing upwards, say, and you turn it downward in this, uh, at the end of the scheme, okay? But you, you do this, and the magnetization goes like this. I'm uh, illustrating this here. Say, the, the magnetization vector is, say, doing this. Okay, in, in the magnetization moves in the plane orthogonal to the radial direction here. Okay, so I can model the magnetization with this in this form, uh, with a, a z and a theta in the in the cylindrical coordinate. Okay, in this way, uh, with the phi field that I was I was talking about now, the phi field is say is here, so the phi field is, is modeling the way the magnetization goes from the, the uh, for instance, the, the plus one to the minus one position down there, okay? Um, okay, if, uh, if I now want to model this, in my, in my, in my model, let me turn it back here a little bit. Okay, in this model here, I have it shows in the potential in this way. Okay, 
So the only thing I, I have left here is the, the, this, the, the W. If I define a W, I have, uh, say, a kind of model, okay, who can, who can say, try to model the, how the, the magnetization goes around when I, 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 I do my calculation, okay? So if I, if I plug here in the first model, uh, here I, I choose, say, I, I write the, the W phi squared as P of phi, as a polynomial, I model as a polynomial. In this case, for instance, this, I have here the, the Higgs prototype model for a scalar field. This is uh, phi to the fourth power, okay? Which is the standard, say, model we have. In the, if, I, I, if I plug this in my equation of motion, my first yard differential equation, and I, I solve it, and I get this, okay? This is, say, my phi, my phi field behaves like this. It goes from plus one to minus one. Say, and this S here is a parameter, say, to, to make uh, the scheme go, say, uh, smoothly or not, from the plus one, say, state to the minus one state. And uh, I, if I use this phi in my here, if I use this phi here in my magnetization, and if I use the magnetization, which defines my topological charge density, I have this here, okay? The topological charge density, it, it is, goes like this, which is very sim similar to the magnetization I showed you in this case, okay? The magnetization goes in this way, and the topological charge density have this form, which is very similar to the form we are, we are showing this first example here. Okay? Sorry. So I can, I can say that this is my standard, say, scalar field model, which I can use to model the magnetization uh, inside a skirmium. Okay, now I want to say to modify this. How can I modify this? So I have a second model here. In this second model here, it's a little bit different. Okay, it has a phi 2 here and it ha has a p parameter here, okay, who, who controls the way the scalar field self interacts. And p has to be an odd integer, okay? For p is equal to 1, I have the former model, or say the standard model. So I use, it for instance, p equal to 3. If p is equal to 3, I solve this model analytically using the first order equation. And with this solution, I write it here, so I see that the, 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 the solution which controls the magnetization, it goes, say, it has, say, an internal structure here, okay? You see that it, is, it tries to stay at zero and then it goes to minus one. When the solution do this, the topological charge density behaves in this form, okay? It goes, for instance, for S equal to 0 0.8, the red, the, the red line, okay? It goes in this way. So it kind of forms an internal structure, like you, I told you in the reference before, okay? And it is here, I'm plotting this using the same, say, way of controlling the Internal, the internal structure of this skirmil here, going, say, from blue is plus one to, to red, which is minus one, 
passing by the zero part, which is yellow. And it is, I can control this with my parameter S here. Okay, so I can enlarge or, or not the, the way the, the topological charge density behaves in this model. Okay, this is very similar to what the, uh, those guys here. Sorry. In this, you see, they have this internal structure, and in this is the the way the topological charge density goes in here. Okay. In the, in the second model, I'm showing you. We have, a, say, a very similar behavior here. Okay, the, the scalar field has an external structure, and it is reflected in, in the internal structure of the topological solution. The, the problem, say, I have here is, uh, what is this? Because this implies that the, the power of the field is not uh, integer anymore for p is equal to 3. It's in between 1 and 3. It's half, okay? half, half integer. So I, I, have a, I have no say, way to, to physically understand this. Okay? But, but I, have, uh, I found in the literature, say, uh, in, uh, this paper by those guys here, where they 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 <coughs> yeah, measure the say the magnetization of the, the uh, domain wall, yeah? the magnetization in, in constrained geometries. They use this. This is an experimental work. They use this. They put the magnetization say here to the right and here to, to the left, and look for the magnetization here inside this constrained part of the of the, the sample, okay? And the, if the sample has this size, say, S0 is here, okay? If this size here, S0 is 500 nanometers, okay? The magnetization goes in this way, okay? This is very similar to the first example we, we have shown to you, okay? And it goes in this way. However, if you say, diminish the S0 in the, to this size here, the magnetization have a very different profile, which is this one, OK? This is the hyperbolic tangent. This is the kink profile, the usual kink profile. But this, they, they have the, this profile here, OK? And this is very similar to the, say, profile you have found with this kind of self-interaction for the scalar field. So uh, uh, I think that, say, uh, fractional, say, powers in the field may, in a sense, be seen, say, the frontier of the system. If the system, the system gets, say, shorter and shorter, OK, this may interfere with the system and gives rise to this kind of funny configuration. Okay. Another example, then, or my third example, is, is this one. I can change the power of the, the field in this way. Okay. If, if n is 1 here, I get the, the standard model, the 5 fourth model. Okay. But if n increases, when n increases, I have to, to even, even yeah, for the first yard equation, I cannot solve analytically. But if n goes to infinity, I still have an analytical solution. The analytical solution is plotted here. Okay? They have this form. Say, around, this, uh, say, zero, for our close to zero, say, in the, in the core of the scheme, the, the field is uh, practically constant. And this will reflect in the the charge density in this way. So this is the, say, the, 
blue part of my ischemia configuration. Say I'm controlling the ischemia configuration in a way such that the, the magnetization in a region okay, is constant, is upward. And it suddenly it goes in this, like this. Okay? So the show this uh, the, the yellow part, okay, is going to diminishing because this is going to say narrow and narrow. I'm I'm finishing. Narrow and narrow. Okay, and so this is another way to say it. another power in the the self-interaction <coughs> which help us to control the magnetization inside the skin. Okay? This is say uh, we are we are using say techniques of high energy physics, okay, for trying to model the say the interior of the skirmish. Okay, that's all I I want to. You know, thank you very much for. Questions. I have